afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this VIP corner with President Barroso and Prime Minister Papademos, who are here to talk to you about a meeting that they've just had together with members of the Commission and members of the Prime Minister's staff on working together on growth for Greece. And I give the floor to the President. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It was uh, indeed a great pleasure to have held this important, constructive meeting with Prime Minister and our colleagues from the Commission and the Greek government. Let me begin by paying a sincere tribute to Prime Minister Papademos, who has skillfully steered his country through incredibly rough waters these past few months. The aim of this meeting was simple, to see how we can work more effectively together to enable Greece to make the most of its cohesion funding at this critical time and also to see how we can, with this reinforced monitoring and reinforced technical assistance, do more to create hope, hope for Greece. We want to seize this moment to help get the Greek economy moving again. I believe this is the right moment to step up our work on growth for Greece. The second program has been agreed in principle. It will be formally launched next month, provided the agreed conditions are met and the private sector bond exchange is successful. And I am very confident that this will be the case. The second program has a very strong focus on reforms that we believe will transform the capacity of the Greek economy to generate growth and jobs. It is important that this is recognized, so that the second program does not, like the first, suffer from misperceptions as being all about fiscal consolidation. Of course, fiscal consolidation is indispensable, but this is not a pro just a program of fiscal consolidation. It's a program for structural reforms, competitiveness and growth in Greece. What we are doing is working with Greece to help address sit deep-seated problems of competitiveness, problems which had simply become unsustainable. This is a huge task. None of us underestimate the scale of the challenges or the obstacles that still lie ahead. But I believe progress is being made. But we must realize that even if implementation is swift and effective, it will take time for the full benefits of these reforms to be felt. There are structural reforms that take some time to produce results. And I believe that most of the Greek people, most of the people in Greece understand that. As in other countries that are now very exposed, they also understand that. But the question now is how can we accelerate some programs that can give a concrete support for Greece, support for growth, support for the creation of jobs, and also to mitigate the social impact of some of the measures. That's why it was important to have this meeting today. Not that the Commission's support for the Greek adjustment efforts only started today. The task force for Greece, which I set up some months ago, is on the ground and is already making good progress in providing technical assistance and helping to make sure uh, that we make the most of the EU's structural funds. But I believe that more can be done. There are over 20 billion euros in structural funding available to Greece for the 2007-2013 period. We have already released more than 8 billion euros in payments, but there is scope for doing much more before 2013. And we are already giving priority to the payments to Greece. This means also that we need to get essential growth enhancing projects off the ground. We have identified a number of these which could give a particular boost to investment and employment. So helping Greece is not necessarily about increasing the financial envelope for the country. It is mainly about using effectively and swiftly what we have. And we should have no illusions. The crucial part of the solution is, of course, in the hands of the Greek government the Greek administration at the end of the Greek uh, people. The Commission is fully read, ready to help the Greek authorities in this regard. We also want to help ensure that funding reaches the real economy as swiftly as possible and it is not held up by administrative obstacles or not passed on to the real economy by banks. That's why we have discussed today many concrete issues. For instance, the SMA-SME Guarantee Fund, 
the risk uh, sharing uh, instrument projects that are some more advanced than others and we have committed prime minister papademos and myself at the end of the next month of march to uh, make an assessment of progress in these and other areas many concrete areas that were exposed on the greek side and also by the different commissioners and also the participation of the head of the task force and the and several director generals to conclude i there i know there are doubts outside greece and sometimes also inside greece about the success of this program but my question is the following why shouldn't greece be able to do it why not i believe greece is perfectly able to make these efforts for structural reforms we have seen in other countries that this was possible so greece can i'm sure do it and i'm sure that we together can make it successful that's why i want to conclude by thanking you very much uh, prime minister and also expressing i hope in my not very good greek the following ne yelada bori mas yelada ke evropi barume kyo ke sa to kanume thank you <laughs> Uh, let me start first by uh, thanking President Barroso for his very kind words and also to thank him for organizing this meeting that focused on crucially important issues uh, for Greece. Uh, over the years, uh, the Commission has provided uh, very valuable support to my country and I would like to take this uh, opportunity to thank again the Commissioners, the Task Force for Greece, as well as the Commission services for their support to our efforts, especially over the last uh, two very difficult years. Now, as President Barroso said, uh, during the meeting that was held today, in which a number of Commissioners also participated, we discussed a wide range of issues. But among these issues, I would like to emphasize two. The first was how to better absorb and effectively use the available EU funds, the structural, regional and social funds. And second, we discussed uh, the definition and elaboration of concrete policies and financial instruments that can support economic activity and foster job creation, especially over the short and medium term. The new economic program uh, that was recently adopted by Greece and voted in the Greek Parliament. The second financial package for Greece that was agreed upon in the Eurogroup last week, and also the private uh, sector involvement in the refinancing of Greek sovereign debt are all very important steps that will improve the economic prospects for my country, and they will also establish conditions that are conducive to higher and sustained growth. In particular, the new economic program, as also President Barroso underlined, is uh, comprehensive and appropriate, and it includes a wide range of reforms, some of which are very bold and far-reaching, that will improve efficiency both in the private sector and the public sector, will restore competitiveness, and therefore will foster higher sustained growth over the medium and long term. However, in the short term, the fiscal consolidation process and the shortage of liquidity have had adversely affected economic activity and employment and had had serious consequences on social welfare as well as for the effective implementation of the program. For this reason, there is an urgent need to complement the policies and reforms included in the second economic program for Greece with uh, concrete measures and other actions that can help, that can have an immediate and positive impact on economic activity and employment and also help address the social consequences of the adjustment effort. Now, during uh, the meeting, a number of the policies that were discussed and were agreed upon 
was first uh, the establishment of a guarantee fund for small and medium-sized firms using structural funds as guarantees and the leverage of the EIB. Second, the risk-sharing instrument to finance infrastructure projects and other important investment projects, again using structural funds and EIB leverage. We also discuss measures that will help uh, accelerate the absorption of EU funds by making the procedures simpler and more effective, as well as actions to be taken related to some very important strategic projects for Greece, such as the Ilios project, uh, which will exploit the country's comparative advantage in renewable energy sources. Now, the implementation of these measures uh, will, of course, require strengthening the administrative capacity uh, to, uh, in Greece to absorb uh, EU funding, but also it will require continued close collaboration between uh, the European Commission uh, and the Greek uh, authorities. And um, we're looking forward uh, in the coming days and weeks, literally, both, uh, in, term, uh, both in order to fully implement the new economic program that has uh, been adopted, but also to uh, implement the complementary actions that have been discussed and agreed today that aim at uh, fostering uh, economic growth and job creation uh, in the short term. So uh, this government will do its utmost to implement uh, fully and effectively both the program and the complementary actions. And I want to thank you again for your initiative today and for working together in the future uh, for, uh, for, the, uh, for supporting Greece. And I would add to your remark at the end, Borume uh, We can and we will do it. <laughs> thank you very much, President. Thank you, Prime Minister. We only have time for a couple of questions before the President and Prime Minister have to move on. Uh, please state your name in the media you represent. Martina first. Thanks. Hi, um, Martina Steves from Dow Jones Newswires and the Wall Street Journal. Um, I have a question regarding a proposal by Eurogroup Chairman uh, Jean-Claude Juncker this morning. This is a question for both the Prime Minister and the President. Mr. Juncker this morning, or in an interview, uh, proposed that uh, Greece uh, gets a, a restructuring, for lack of better translating, commissioner to oversee the return of the country to normality and growth. Um, is this uh, a proposal that's interesting to you? Would you accept that? Uh, and how would that be implemented? Thank you. I already answered this morning. I'm not expected to listen to the opinion of the Prime Minister of Greece, I believe. Well, what uh, I would like to say here is that uh, the new economic uh, program for Greece um, will be implemented uh, by the Greek government and the Greek authorities. And in doing that, uh, we welcome uh, the support of uh, the European Commission, um, the commissioners themselves and the commission services. Uh, and I think this is uh, sufficient, uh, our own work and the cooperation with the commission to ensure uh, the effective and full implementation of the program. What I can be more precise on in terms of the management of the program by the Commission. We have here two lines. One is the reinforced monitoring of the program approved now by Greece and by the Eurogroup following a proposal of the uh, so-called Troika. Uh, so the Commission, the ECB and the IMF. That program was approved by Greece, the government and the parliament, and was approved unanimously by the Eurogroup. Now, the Eurogroup gave a mandate to the Commission to an increased monitoring of this program. We will do it, and we are doing it. At the same time, we need to increase the technical assistance to the implementation of the reforms that are underway in Greece. That's why I've created, already some months ago, a task force. A task force uh, um, here in the Commission, but that not only uh, makes the coordination of the expertise of the Commission, but also with member states, experts that are willing and in fact are already participating in this technical assistance.